Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about extensions of VS Code and if you don't know anything about VS Code, you can watch this video VS Code for beginners. The link for this video is in the description or you can click the i button also. So let's begin with the today's topic that is called extensions of VS Code. This is the message for those who has watched the video of VS Code for beginners. So if you had watched the video of VS Code for beginners, then do start watching this video from, from 6 minutes and 41 seconds because before this time all the extensions are already be covered in VS Code for beginners. So if you want to know more about extensions then do start watching this video from 6 minutes and 41 seconds. Okay. So let's begin the video now. Let's begin with the first extension that is called material theme. Okay. Basically we have seen in the features of the VS Code that VS Code comes with the built-in themes as you can see here. You have to open the palette, click on it, color themes, light themes and dark themes. But there are limited options available for dark themes and the dark themes. So if you want to increase more options for the themes, you can install material theme extension. How to install it? Go on this icon, click it and right here material theme. You will see various results. Click on this one and install it. We have already installed it. We have to enable it. Once we have enabled it, you can see you have to you have to open the palette, Control plus Shift plus P, and select the color theme again. And now more options are visible: material theme, material dark theme, okay, high contrast themes, material light theme, material lighter. Let's check one lighter theme and one dark theme of material theme extension. So this one is lighter we are going to change very quickly and dark theme material met yeah material ocean theme this is the dark theme okay so this was material extension to change the theme of the vs code next extension we are going to see is called material icon theme basically this extension is helpful in changing the icons of the file as you can see in the file explorer dot css file will have hashtag symbol dot html file will have closing and opening angular brackets dot js will have js symbol and dot py having this icon okay so if you are not happy with these icons which is provided by vs code you can change this icon by installing the material icon theme how to install it click on this icon and right here material icon theme the first option you select it and it will open here as you can see various files will have different icons here so install it and yes we are going to use material icon themes and now you can go back to the explorer and you will see that .css file is having this icon, .html having this icon, .js having this icon and .python file is having this icon. So this was material icon theme which is helpful in changing the icons of the files. Next extension we are going to see is called color highlight. So what color highlight do? As you can see in the file there are two colors RGB this one and RGB this one. But we don't know what color it is. Basically VS Code provide a small box which is indicating what kind of RGB color is that. But it is hard to see it and it is hard to remember the colors in the RGB format or hexacode format. So color highlight extension will help to see or to highlight the color behind it. Okay, let's go to the extension. The process to install the extension is similar. You have to click on this icon right here color highlight then go on this option click it after that you will see color highlight will open here and it's, it is its documentation and after that we have already installed the color highlight but we have disabled it for the purpose of demonstration now what we have to do is enable it once it is enabled we will go back to the file.css now as you can see that square boxes which are built in features of VS Code is gone away. It is by automatic mm -hmm. now. The color has been highlighted and it is telling that what kind of RGB color is this. So this extension help in highlighting the color and also help us in remembering the color of RGB or hex code. So that's what was color highlight. And now we are going to see the bracket pair colorizer. 
this extension will help in coloring the pair of our brackets okay by the name itself it is clear that it will help in coloring the pair of the brackets so the main problem is that in this file as you can see there are lots of bracket this one open here and this one closes here but it is easily identified but when there is code written it becomes very difficult to identify the closing of this bracket okay we can identify the starting but to see the closing of it it becomes difficult this extension helps in coloring the brackets okay let's see how this extension work you have to go on this extension and write it here bracket pair and select bracket pair colorizer the second version is also available download any one of it okay let's enable it the extension is enabled we will go to the file and here we go as you can see the brackets are being colored and now it is easily identify the closing and opening of the brackets okay this bracket closes when you click here you will see a line here this goes to this closing bracket okay when you click here you will see a line okay oh uh, you can see we made a modification and uh, let's go now now you will say this bracket opening will be closing this one no let's see it will make a line here and this okay now we can easily identify the closing of an bracket or the pairs of the bracket so this was bracket pair colorizer extension next we are going to see eslint extension this extension helps us in finding the problems in the javascript code so so this is the javascript code and we have to open the integrated terminal use control plus shift plus p to open the palette and select this option you have to type it down create new and select here create new integrated terminal okay now the terminal is started oh now the terminal is open es lint is enabled you have to download with the same process click on this icon write es lint here and select this one option here and install it we have already installed the es lint so let's see the demo of this extension so we are back in the file of grade.js and now we are going to make a mistake here and here you will see a problem will occur and it will tell a problem okay we're going to remove some brackets so this es lint extension is working and now problems are shown there is one problem occur click on it and it is saying expected closing bracket okay at line 35 and column sorry at line 11 okay line 11 click on it and the problem is solved okay let's make another problem here terminal again eslint is working and it is identifying a problem in the javascript code click on the problem once expected closing bracket okay the parser expected to find a closing bracket to match the opening token here okay this was eslint which is helpful in finding the problem with the javascript code Let's begin with the live server extension. Basically, a live server extension will launch a developmental local server with live reload feature for static and dynamic pages. So, we are going to discuss the live server in the next few minutes, but first we have to discuss the problem which is solved by the live server. So, the problem was, go back to the explorer. So, this is the file that is called demo.html file. Okay, so we are going to render this file on the web browser. We are using Google Chrome. So, this is the file demo.html. Now we are going to go on the file. Here is the file demo.html. Now, what you have to do is that if you want to render this file on the browser, open it with a particular browser, you know it, whether it's a Google Chrome or another browser. So, here we are going to open this file. As you can see, the page is rendered here and it displays live server extension demo. That's what this file do. Okay, this display only one header that's one heading that is called live server extension demo now if you want to change something in the file or if you want to change something here so what you have to do is that go here and here is the file suppose we have to make a background of 
the page some color okay so what you have to do is that we have a demo.html file which is also linked with this we are going to click on demo.html demo.css and now we are going to change the background color of the body the body select the body then background color and give it aqua now you will save this file now if you want to see the changes here it will not reflect it now so you have two options either you go back to the file and then open it again or you can do what you can refresh it now you're going to see the background color of body is aqua so this was the problem that whenever whenever you make changes here in the .html file or in a .css and any other file which is linked to this .html you have to go back and refresh the thing or you have to open the file again so this was time consuming and this is solved by the live server extension how okay let us close this so we are back on the .html file now we are going to open this file with the help of live server extension but how to download the live server extension is that go on this extension icon click it here right in the search bar live and click this one we have already installed the server so you have to install it and it will automatically get installed the next step is that go back to the file and you have two options to open this file with the live server either you go in the down bottom here go live or either you can right click on the file and you will see open with live server and you can also use the shortcut key that is called alt plus l plus o so open it with the live server okay now as you can see in the address file it is open with the local developmental server and the server address is this okay so this is open with the live server extension now as you change something let us just divide this thing as you change something in the file you and you save the file you will automatically see the changes here okay so let's change something right, server running now save this file and watch here it will change automatically instantaneously means live save as you see live server running we don't have to go back to the file and open it or refresh the browser again it is changing simultaneously instantaneously it is changing together it is changing live so if you change something in the body let's change the background color of body again so white color and click save you see so this is the problem solved by the live server it is very beneficial for the developers who used to develop the website or dynamic pages or static pages and you can see your work instantaneously changing as you code so this was live server extension which will launch a development local server with the help of which you can see your changes on the page simultaneously let's see prettier code formatter this extension will help in formatting the code by the definition it says that it will take your code and parse it according to its own rules then will print to you the installation is simple either you go in this icon right here prettier and select this option and install it other with the help of code if you want to install you can use external this and you can also use node package manager npm to install the prettier let's see the demo of it go back to the file of demo.html it's an another file prettier demo.html this is a prettier demo okay now this file is already formatted now we will unformat this file select all select all and press shift plus tab now it is unformatted now as we will save this file it will automatically get formatted okay control plus s save you see the file is automatically get formatted and if you want to change something else like demo.css now you will unformat this okay as you will save the file it will get automatically formatted uh, as you can see 
let's select something else okay body h1 uh, give the space something right font size large and as you save the file you will see automatically it will get formatted see so this was prettier code which will help in formatting your code okay so if the prettier is not working one more thing is that if the prettier is not working for a particular language so you have to add the language in the prettier code extension how you can do this is that go on this gear icon click it here and select settings or you can do control plus comma to open the settings you will see a tab called extensions click here and you will see various extensions uh, go on prettier configuration and here you will see various languages are already added to the prettier configuration you will see that there are some languages for which the prettier is not working so you have to add it add the language here suppose we have suppose there is not python involved in the prettier so add the item here python and it will get working for the python also one last thing is that there is a problem also so if you have installed many prettier extensions and uh, it is also that visual code automatically provide you with uh, some extensions for formatting the code so how you can solve the problem is that means if you have selected this prettier also and this one also this one also this one also so there are many prettier guts involved so by the first time if you are formatting your code so this prettier will not work it will ask you something that you have to select one kind of prettier means either it will be this one it will be this one or it will be this one or whatever you have installed so how you can solve that problem is that go on the file right click here and you will select this option format document as soon as you will select this option it will ask you to format the code according to which prettier extension so it will not ask here because we have already do the settings for the prettier extension which we have to use so this was a demo of prettier extension and we have seen how to download the prettier extension and what is the help of prettier extension will provide you in writing your code because whenever you write code fastly you will not see the indentation of it as as you save the file it will get automatically formatted so this is very useful for formatting the code so this was prettier code formatted lastly if you have any doubt regarding this topic write down in the comment section and if you think that this video is helpful then do share the videos to others and subscribe the channel for new videos like this and if you think that there are other topics on which the videos should be made write that topic in the comment section thank you for watching this video